Hello, all you beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of the Only Chest Iron Man account. Today's episode is honestly, truly something special. I will be accomplishing something that in my entire career of RuneScape, I have never accomplished before, and what a feeling it truly, <laughs> truly is. And after today's episode, this series will be moving over to live streams. I know I have said in the past, do not worry if you cannot catch them live. All live streams will be uploaded into the playlist, so you will get to see that magnificent chest content even after I am done live streaming. And if you guys end up enjoying today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, make sure you turn that bell notification icon on so that you get notified every time I go live from here on out. And without further ado, let's get into that beautiful chest content. Another beautiful hard clue here. Oh boy. Okay, we got a Cyclops head. That's at least a new unique. I thought maybe it was the black dragon mask, but uh, that was not the case. We got a beginner in medium casket. I wanted to <laughs> clear out some inventory space in my bank while making some of uh, those logs into planks. Let's go ahead. I'm not really expecting anything from these guys. Yeah, Iron Pick and 20 Mine Runes, and then uh, Unholy Blessing and some Dig Site Teleports. We have really completed a lot of medium clues on this account. We're really close to 600 total clues completed so far, which is pretty wild to think about. Well, did not take too long to get another hard clue cast, and let's go ahead and slap it open. Oh, unfortunate. Nothing uh, too exciting. 133 of them completed though. I love how quickly I've been getting these hard caskets. Let's see if we can at least get any unique. Oh, we did get an armor page. I don't really consider the Morton teleport scrolls unique, but damn, 400k for that? It's the scrolls, it has to be, right? Like people just want these. Yeah, oh my, 21k each? That's actually insane. Oh my gosh, if you guys just have me sitting in your bank, sell them. Well, we are finally done. Our cash stack is absolutely decimated, but I do have all of the planks needed for 77 construction. So I'm going to start working on that because my bank has been maxed for months. And uh, I'm going to be honest, it hasn't been <laughs> the best time to be uh, to be frank. So we're going to go ahead and give that a go and uh, hopefully get 77 con relatively soon. All right, doing some construction, and I think just like last time, I'm gonna do at minimum, there's 72 construction, at minimum 1,000 uh, planks a day. That way I can at least get it done within a week. But honestly, a lot of the tasks that I get on RNG are super AFK, so I might just do the duration of the entire task for construction and then call it quits for the day so I can do some other productive stuff as well. Coming in with another construction level. Here we are with 73, super, super nice. Coming in with another beautiful construction level. That is a level 74 construction. Only three more levels to go. Just got 75 construction, super nice. About 3000 more planks left to go and we will be done. Second to last construction level that is a level 76. I'm really happy that we are almost done with this grind. I do not enjoy construction immensely, but I uh, definitely needed to be done. Oh, this feels so nice. That is 77 construction. And now with our beautiful boost, we can finally upgrade the treasure chest and I can clear out my bank. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't wait. That is another goal marked off for the account before we head off to raids. Oh, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, every time I've done a boost, it's been absolutely insane to try and get it. And the first attempt, I got the plus four, and of course with the crystal saw, that brings us to a plus seven, which is exactly what we needed. I'm gonna go fill this bad boy up and I cannot wait to see how much free space we have in our bank when I'm done. All right, I had a full bank and I'm pretty sure I just got everything. So let's go ahead and just start releasing all of these placeholders that I do not need anymore. 
I <laughs> honestly, this needed to be done for a while. And uh, wow, slapping an 84 construction requirement just to be able to put your hard stuff in your player own home is, whoo, man, that's up there. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, to be honest, I didn't think it was gonna be that possible on the only chest account, but you know what? We've done it. Earning cash is incredibly difficult, as you all know, on this account because we don't really have a good method of earning cash outside of shades and uh, now gauntlet so oh my gosh we cleared 49 bank spaces by getting 77 construction 100 worth that's gonna let us now not have a struggle whenever we get back to gauntlet and get over to raids and start unlocking some of the uniques and some other items from raids as well well, after that con grind, I went ahead and did the beginner in medium we had in our bank. Just in case we did get anything new, I wouldn't have been able to put it in there. We got an iron pick, not uh, anything exciting. And we got a crier bell, 288 medium clues done, and we still do not have any ranger boots, unfortunately. Well, you love to see it legit first key back at Shades. We do get a hard clue. But of course, as a reminder, what we're looking for here is the Dragon Boots ornament kit or any of that fabled third age. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about a bow centric clue. Literally every bow we could get except third age. We got. Ooh, I feel like it's been a while since I've recorded a clip for the account. We are all the way up to 87 fire making, really close to 77 prayer. We do have another hard casket here to slap open. All right, and uh, nothing too exciting there. It's only worth a lot because of all the purple sweets. Well, burning some shade remains on my laptop this evening. Ended up being able to complete one hard clue out of the 300 remains that we've burned. So let's go ahead and slap it open. Oh, okay. Some diversity here. Got another Holy Blessing and some Morton Teleport Scrolls as well as the Charged Dragonstone Jewelry, but uh, nothing too exciting. I do love the inflated value though of some of these clues. Well, we have another hard clue here for y'all. Let's see if we can get any uniques. Oh, we got the Thieving Bag. Okay. All right, got some nice fashion scape there. I'm not upset with that. Oh, almost immediately back-to-back -back hard clues at the beginning of this grind we weren't really getting that many but now towards the end we are getting a good amount <laughs> oh is that a new item man i swear i thought we had those that is an expensive ass clue though 684k for these zamorak dehyde boots is that full is that full zami that we have oh my gosh we don't have the coif but uh I'll be using these Zami boots instead now. We are pretty close though to 77 prayer, a little over 8,000 away. Well, after that entire, entire debacle of going through, getting the Bob shirt, and then immediately not being able to do the next step, we finally got another elite and we were able to complete it. Let's see what we can snag from it here. We got holy wraps. I actually don't know if that's good or not. It does have prayer bonus. I mean, at least it's a unique and the clue wasn't straight trash. So I guess it's not too bad. Had to do a small little grind. So of course, you know, it never really does fail no matter what we're doing. We always seem to get a clue step where I have to go do something else because I just don't have the don't have the stats for it. We got the Sherlock Elite, fish up a shark. I'm gonna go ahead and make an Admiral Pie, go over to the fishing guild, and complete that step and hopefully complete this elite clue. Somebody call Mod Ash because we should not be allowed to do two elites in a row without having to do something. So oh my gosh, let's go ahead, slap it open. This is our 21st. Oh, never mind. Now I know why we were able to complete it, because this is absolute trash. There we are with the last prayer level we needed. <laughs> I did miss a key because I just had to run to the bathroom real quick. 
But uh, that is a high enough prayer for Augury. So now our prayer level is set the goal we wanted for raids. And I'm going to be honest, if you guys have never really done shades like this before, this is such a, a long and excruciating process. It really does eat up a lot of time. So I'm really glad that I'm almost done with this. Pretty much forever on the account. Hard clue time once again. Can we get that fabled Dragon Boots ornament kit? No, we did not. And that is 140 hard clues completed. Today has been so nice for hard clues. We've got two more caskets. Let's go ahead and slap these bad boys open. Nothing too exciting there. And for that one, oh my gosh, that was worse. And then the last one, 24 purple sweets. Where are we at so far with our purple sweets? Oh, we are so close to a thousand. Absolutely insane. How much is that total? It's almost six and a half million GP. That's absolutely wild. That's a pretty nice defense level coming in with 90. Still collecting some shade remains. Got a little bit more to collect until we are done over here. Time for another hard clue. You guys know what we're looking for, of course. That is not it. Um, <laughs> but I guess it is a, a new unique. So I'm not going to complain about it. Pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever actually had these before on any account. So... Uh, only chest by far, I have done the most clues now, I think, on old school. Who another hard clue as we're quickly approaching the end of our shades grind, hopefully. Of course, just as a reminder, the entire reason we're doing this is so we can get supplies for Giants Foundry 478 smithing. It's going to be absolutely crucial that we actually get that level so that when we finally get the uh, enhanced crystal weapon seed, we can make that bofa. Let's see if we can get any uniques at all nothing um pretty underwhelming clue to be honest all right we have another hard clue i'm gonna be honest i really did not i guess just comprehend how slow burning these shade remains are oh my gosh it's literally taken forever but let's go ahead and open it up three rune daggers what Anyway, I got some gold keys I'm going to go open up. Hopefully we can get that last piece of Zealot. Oh boy, I've spoken into existence. There is the Zealot robe top. So you know what this means. We're not done now with shades because I wasn't going to go grind out the last key until we got this piece. So we're only missing the bronze locks. I'm going to be honest, it's going to be super easy to get. It capped the 250. I promise you I have more amulets of the damned. Having full Zealot, though, is actually insane. It's like our breath. Uh, oh, my gosh. It is our best prayer gear. So I'm going to finish all of this shade stuff up. And then I'm going to try and get those bronze locks. That's going to be absolutely insane that we have finished this. Oh, just here opening up two more hard clues because, you know, wow. I don't know if you guys would believe it or not, but of course we can only not do three elite steps now. And um, we got the step again for the Pyromancer Robotum. So I didn't even say anything to myself, just dropped it. Let's go ahead and open these two up. Nothing interesting there and nothing interesting there. So I'm about 50-ish gold keys to open, so maybe we can get another elite. Well, we did manage to snag one more elite clue and we were able to complete all of it. So let's go ahead and slap it open. Yeah, that's about what uh, I expected. I'm going to be honest, I don't know why I continue to do these because they just frustrate me. But you know what? It is another elite down. Hey, over here, Giants Foundry, finally. That is 75 smithing I should have enough, I I hope. Honestly, I haven't done the math, so I have no idea. I'm hoping I have enough for 78 so I don't have to go back to shades, but uh, this is our plan for the for the next next couple hours. All right, so I know Nightmare Zone is literally, there's nothing here that we can utilize, but I am gonna be AFKing here pretty hard up until I start streaming. 
pretty much all done with our goals. I've really been thinking about the 77 rune crafting, and to be honest, it's not something that I need to do immediately. So, in order to give myself something to do outside of streaming content wise, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing once we are at raids, but uh, I have time to play during the day. I'll just go ahead and do rune crafting so we can get up to 77. I have the supplies for 78 smithing, which is exactly what I need in order to make the Bofa and Blade whenever I get the enhanced crystal weapon seed drop. So we're pretty much good there. So I'm going to be AFKing here for a super long time, just getting whatever stats I can. And those are really actually going to help us out a lot in raids. So that's the entire reason I'm here. Before I head on over into the beautiful nightmares and i'm gonna go ahead and open up this reward casket ancient page nothing too exciting oh there it is this is something i wanted to do before we started raids that is the bronze lock obtained i'm gonna go ahead drop all this other stuff other than the bars because those are those are nice now we get to see now we get to see exactly how many amulets of the dam I ended up with. I have not physically lost, used, or alked any. This feels so, 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 so good. All right, we have now finished shades. I want to look at it first, so let's go ahead. It's green. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Whew, so I already know we've gotten two, more than 250 uh, amulets of the damned because that's what it caps out at. 129 gold uh, black locks. Wow, we really did a lot of the mid-tier shades. Actually insane. All right, let's go ahead and look. It's going to be down here. 283. <laughs> How much is that? Oh my gosh. Even high alking, it's nine, almost 10 mil. That's actually insane. Oh, okay. Well, I've got 124,000 experience left to go for smithing, and then I will honestly be all set up for live streaming. Oh, that feels so nice. It really, really does. Oh, here we are. This is it. The last level in smithing that we needed. That is 78. We can now use the boost. Oh, it's so, so, so nice. Okay. Well, that's it. We're all set. Um, I'm going to do a few more things and then we're set for live streaming. We're set uh, to go back to the gauntlet. I'm super, super excited. Absolutely amazing. Whew. It's going to feel nice to get back there. 100%. Man. Oh, man. What? a ride this has been oh i can't i don't even know like words can't even express this for me i just there's so many things i could talk about right now but number one is just the support you guys have given me throughout this entire series so far thank you all so much it truly is a joy to just talk to you guys and meme in discord and and meme through private chat i just you, you guys have been awesome I absolutely love it. The support you've given me has been unconditional and has been so, so amazing. I truly thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I never really did think back when I made this series at the tail end of 2021 that we would be where we're at today. I am pretty notorious for making new accounts just because I love the... I love theory crafting. I, I love doing new things. I love trying to accomplish tasks that are just so backwards that nobody else would want to do it. And the fact that I made this into a series and with the little time that I've actually had is absolutely astounding. Just being able to go back in a few years and just watch this entire series is gonna truly be something special for me and um i don't know it's it's so it's so odd it's so it's so weird but at the same time it 
it feels so absolutely amazing. And the fact that I've been able to progress along this journey with all of you makes me feel so elated. I, I, I truly am part of something special here. And you guys have really helped create uh, a home in RuneScape for the community. So thank you all so much. Uh, as you could tell in the title, that is the end of season one of this account. Season two from here on out is going to be live streaming, uh, raids, gauntlet, whatever dumb stuff I decide to do as well. So I'm truly excited for not only what this series is going to bring, but for the other things that I have. Of course, we have the RNG series still going and we have the Mr. Tile Junk <laughs> series still going. Oh boy, what an adventure that one is, let me tell you. I'm going to pull my hair out with that one. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Special shout out to my channel members, uh, Father Duo and Rob K. You guys honestly go above and beyond. And for the rest of you, if you are interested in joining the Discord, there's a link in the description below. There is a link for the channel membership if you are interested in supporting further than what you currently are. And I look forward to live streaming and being able to connect even further with you guys. Have a good one. And I will be posting my live streaming schedule uh, in Discord and on the YouTube channel page as well. Have a good one, guys.